Hello and welcome everybody to episode 8 of this wonderful map called Feed the Beast. Uh, the beginning of this episode is going to be a little bit different because uh, I want to talk to you about uh, a few extra subjects and I will do basically a voiceover. I have pre-recorded the first uh, 13 minutes of gameplay. So um, let's get started, shall we? Um, first of all I want to welcome as usual the new subscribers I want to encourage you guys to communicate and interact as much as possible through comments, likes and most of all if possible I would love from you some video responses that would make me very happy um, second of all I would like to encourage you guys to when commenting to try and write as um, as best you can as correctly as possible because um, I am struggling to understand you my English is as you know very very bad and when I I've seen some of the comments that I, I, I really didn't understand what they are, they are saying and I'm sure like you you write uh, you write the comments very very fast and you don't even think about it but uh, <laughs> please remember who are you talking with <laughs> so uh, I'm not uh, bashing you or something like that I'm, I'm just asking you polite politely to to remember that uh, <laughs> I, I, it is very possible but I won't understand them uh, okay so uh, another subject I want to talk about today is the possibility of cooperation uh, on videos um, I have um, some of you guys uh, have uh, asked had have had have <laughs> Uh, some of you guys uh, asked me uh, if um, you could play along uh, and I have to say to that that I, that, uh, I would uh, love to do a playthrough with my subscribers and maybe eventually uh, in time that will happen but uh, for now um, I need to do that with the guys that I consider um, how, how should I say this I need to see some involvement from you guys if I am to play with you and record and do YouTube videos okay uh, so I, I can't uh, uh, go into a playthrough with somebody that doesn't have any videos that doesn't have any subscribers I need to see that uh, that guy is involved enough and has some nice videos it doesn't have to be I don't know uh, high quality or something like that I just need to see that you care about it and it's not gonna be just some random oh let's do some two or three episodes with that guy and that's it and uh, we will never do episodes again so I need to see uh, for example I have been uh, recording videos since October last year and I don't even know how many videos I have right now on my channel but it's been a lot I have been uh, going through tons and tons of mods and playthroughs and I have been watching the community a lot uh, I have been trying to interact uh, as much as possible um, due to my <laughs> um, English and all of that and so I need you I need to see from you some kind of involvement okay um, a very good example of what I'm talking about is Mr. Grigai uh, I really don't remember how we got to talking but um, he listened to my advice and started doing some mod spotlights and actually one of them he I think it was the more pistons mod 
yeah, uh, that was really really nice, and I, maybe I'll put the link in the description below. Um, yeah, so if in the future you want to do it, okay, no problem. Let me see your channel, okay? If your channel, it doesn't matter if it has two or three subscribers. I need to see that you are making videos on a regular basis that you care about the game uh, that you are worth it okay um, maybe last in the subjects I wanted to speak about today is um, I want to do a shout out to one of my subscribers his name is uh, Frogger um, it's a weird name as usual Frogger uh, 5500 or 5500 <laughs> 50, uh, 55 zero, zero, okay <laughs> so um, I want to do uh, to mention him uh, here in this video uh, um, for two reasons uh, first of all he is the kind of subscriber I would love because he was paying uh, attention during my last video and he reminded he reminded me in the comments that I had forgotten something in my logistics pipe system so I, lo I love to see that I love to see that uh, you guys are paying attention I love to see that uh, you guys come up with new ideas and for example in my first two videos of this map uh, a lot of you guys said uh, well why don't you use uh, planks instead of logs because they have the same value in a, in a furnace and that was kind of okay I mean that kind of um, comment I would love it started being, uh, be, being a little bit ridiculous once uh, about 20 guys said the, sa said the same comment but you you get my you get my idea, and the second um, reason I wanted to mention Frogger is because he's one of the guys that uh, at the beginning uh, uh, wrote um, very very not not bad. I couldn't understand him. Okay, so I told him that, dude, I don't understand you. Please be a little m bit more clear and we, with every comment he did he started being a little bit clear and eventually he, he actually became very very polite <laughs> I, I don't I don't need polite okay I'm 25 years old so we can be less polite than that but uh, just as an, uh, as an idea uh, I really loved the way he he started to change uh, his writing. Well, that's about it uh, concerning what I wanted to talk uh, about. I have uh, still maybe five minutes of pre-recorded footage, so let's uh, let me <coughs> guide you through what I am doing right now. As you can see, I have put here a dark matter furnace and now I am putting uh, crafting pipes uh, all on all six sides and eventually I will be connecting it with the rest of the logistics pipes system uh, why did I want to do a dark matter furnace because um, it has a few properties that uh, a regular industrial craft furnace does not uh, first of all you can connect the crafting uh, pipe to uh, every side and it doesn't matter which side it is connected to it will uh, always put the items to burn in the burning slot and it will collect the items through the same pipe which an industrial craft furnace does not do or, or at least in this version of Industrial Craft, I have not played yet the the new 181 uh, version of Industrial Craft. Um, also, you don't need uh, to supply it with um, energy through a cable. 
you just need to put in there a client star and that basically f uh, freeze uh, uh, freeze not the f uh, f as in uh, freedom <laughs> uh, so you don't have uh, five sites con uh, free you have all six sites free to do whatever you want with them and that is why the dark matter furnace is actually better than uh, the industrial craft and I, if some of you are wondering uh, why not use uh, even a red matter furnace it's because the red matter furnace kinda has the tendency to double your input so uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing because in the crafting table you could say okay for every iron I put in here you will give me two refined iron and that's kind of okay but um, we don't have <laughs> enough energy for that uh, as, uh, as of now uh, what else what else I don't know if you saw in the beginning of this video that I have another 8 dark matter in my um, uh, chest and that will eventually be the dark matter furnace that we are going to feed the beast with so uh, if you are wondering I will not use this dark matter uh, uh, furnace from here uh, okay what else what else um, as you saw in the beginning I changed my relay and collectors to mark 3 so now we are basically rich in EMC and we will never <laughs> um, have any problems again with that <laughs> um, what else uh, you have probably seen the big wall of logistics pipes I have been working uh, off camera a lot just so that I can um, uh, put as many recipes as possible in there uh, of course uh, I couldn't put uh, every last one of them and I also forgot some of them for example uh, some red power recipes but don't worry uh, they'll come um, also uh, some of the recipes I couldn't finish because I needed uh, a particular um, watch it machine from industrial crafts so first of all I have to build the machine and only after that I am I will be able to finish the, the recipe and uh, put it in the logistic pipes okay everybody uh, this is the second morning from my recording and we are going live as in live commentary <laughs> uh, first of all I want to see if that uh, furnace over here really works uh, do we have enough iron here yeah we have um, let's get this refined iron out of here and ask the system for a refined iron there you have it so it definitely works <laughs> okay put that back now I want to build over here the industrial craft revolution okay that means maybe I'll have to extend just a little bit on this side or close definitely this here side but I really really don't want to do that so um, what should I do what should I do I think I'm going to move this uh, stairwell here a little bit and it's going to be basically next to the chicken farm like this so I'll have a little bit more space okay so let me do that and I'll be right back okay this definitely does not look pretty but uh, it gets the job done um, okay F 
now let's get ourselves a project table from over here as you can see there's something wrong when I press control the image shifts a little bit as you can see uh, that's a zoom function that's from uh, Optifine uh, I installed Optifine because I was pretty annoyed by the texture in the distance being all fidgety so not uh, not as much as um, what you might call it uh, performance issue but uh, more of a visual effect and also Optifine um, stops all the weather uh, so I also uh, did that okay so we have ourselves a project table All right and let's see where shall we put it we'll put it here for now uh, if you're wondering how did I do all these torches I did it with the mercurial eye and you just put a torch in the target slot and BAM that's it <laughs> okay let's do some industrial crafts machinery okay I want a macerator can I get one request successful okay very nice uh, can I get an uh, I want a compressor and an extractor geothermal generator generator compressor okay an extractor Right. You know what I forgot to, uh, to include in the system? I forgot to include the water mill. So let's see how that is produced, constructed. So a generator for wood uh, planks and for sticks, no problem. I need for those please. And where are the sticks? Yes, and I need generator also I'm going to need a crafting table from here and a logistics crafting that's it thank you so we don't touch those but we are going to do with these guys and let's put it over there now you are going to see uh, here that I have made a ladder and every four blocks I put one of these um, I don't know how you call it rail not rails um, ledges I think that's the word why the hell do I have a tree there I asked for an extractor why are you not giving me an extractor and you're giving me tree taps Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Because I need to do something else in order to get... I, I forgot. I forgot about that. I'll uh, show you in just a minute. And hopefully we'll be able to fix that uh, easily. So, do water means for a generator. Wow, that's, that's actually quite cheap. Nice. Uh, okay, let's see where do we have the extractor. Not here. These two are not finished yet. Because I need the... Uh, oh, pardon. Okay, okay. No. 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 Uh, generator. There it is. Okay, this is actually very nice because I'm going to be able to put here um, there are some tree taps right there aren't there there you go did we get it yes we got it uh, okay so let's get one of these guys oh come on where do I let me just check the options uh, controls and where do you say control release charge sort inventory well sort inventory let's put it on something crazy like 
semicolon and the zoom can I put it on Z thank you done okay now uh, so I got one of these guys I'm going to need a satellite pipe from the logistics network provider crafting satellite pipe so two redstone and a basic one and let's just get like that and do I have two redstone over here yes thank you so we'll put it like that and there you have it and let's see if we remember how to do this I'm not sure why but ever since I installed Optifine everything seems a little bit brighter and it's annoying like hell yeah okay so we put a satellite here we put the chest in here we give the satellite pipe an ID one for now because we don't really need uh, okay uh, let's take this out of here we put this one one and put four in here and that should actually make us uh, what we need uh, an extractor so let's oh come on there you go let's test it out um, no, 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 let's put this here, so, do, do, do. thank you, so I want an extractor, please, and there you have it, people, the extractor is in the house, okay, so let's get these guys from here to here, um, uh, Accelerator. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Compressor. Let's put it in here. And the extractor over here. Okay, now we need. What do we need? What do we need? Do I have an MF? How do you make an MFSU? MFSU. No, 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 no. MFE. Pardon me, that's bigger. <laughs> The MFSU will kill me. Okay, so we need four energy crystals. That means four diamonds. Do I have any diamond in here? Just one. No worries. As you can see the the chipset network is working fine. I have actually discovered that um, you don't need as many as I um, as many um, uh, machines as I have uh, built. You just need the one row, as in one squeezer, one um, uh, fermenter, and one um, uh, still that's it you know I, I have built four squeezers <laughs> and all of that so yeah a little bit overkill but um, all for good fun <laughs> uh, okay um, we need some copper wire for those if I remember correctly uh, also we need one of these and I think that should be it, right? Uh, maybe like this. Oh, come on. Yay, MFE. Uh, good, now we're going to need some wires. And I think I already did the recipe in here. So... 
how about I don't know how many diamonds do we have nine diamonds okay times that by six oh, 54 oh, we don't need that many maybe 24 let's see that <laughs> Nice. Uh, okay. I should get a screwdriver, but uh, let's see if we can do this without the, the screwdriver. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Let me just do some testing here because I want to do something a little bit more quirky. That should one off the ground should be enough. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> should I put it like that? Maybe. And now let's drop a little bit. our MFE right there thank you and cover this hole up with some smooth stone I think I did a mistake when I installed Optifine mm. we'll, uh, we'll uh, know in, uh, in the future but for now it doesn't really um, float my boat, <laughs> so to say. Um, okay. So this MFE will need to power with something and that power will come like this. And that. And here we go. And in here there's going to be something like that. Not too much. Okay, three rows. Now let's get some water mills, shall we? Let's see if we have enough. I need nine water mills. Yeah, I know that's a lot. Whoa, request successful. Okay. <laughs> let's do an F1. <laughs> Don't you love that? <laughs> wow, dude, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so maybe... Okay, that's the cobblestone for the generator. One generator, one two water mills. One generator, two water mills. One generator. <laughs> oh, what the and another two water mills. And there you have it, people. Uh, F one, F one, not that F one. Thank you. Um. Okay. Um. So let's get these puppies. Also, I am going to need maybe four of you guys. Do I have any in my inventory? Let's check that first. Uh, we have eight redstone. Uh, where should we put it? Here we have some of those. Some of that. Let's get also a timer and where do you have the timer? No. Didn't I teach these guys the timer? Oh there it is. Thank you. One of those and also we're going to make a lever lever. So let's get cracking. 
I hope we, uh, we don't need uh, special So, three water mills on top, you already know this design, I'm not going to explain it to um, you further, I'm just going to do it while I uh, speak about something else. I initially wanted to do something more complicated, but um, it was getting too complicated and also already we have some problems with the time. So, yeah, okay, here we are going to need one retriever, one, one deployer, and a few more thingies. So, let's just put the basic layout for. So, the retriever comes like this. Um, the deployer comes in here. Do we have any? No, we don't. We're going to make them. That means a battery box and a solar panel will be here somewhere. So let's see a battery box from Red Power, please. Some iron, some blue alloy ingots, and some batteries. How do you make batteries? Nicolite, tin, copper. So, do we have any Nicolite in here? Probably not. We're going to take it from here. Thank you. And nothing. Wow. Um, we don't need a lot more, we just need a, a few. Let's put the client star back. Okay, so now copper and tin, please. just get some blue alloy ingots because this is going to take a little bit and I'll be right back okay guys we should be covered with everything we need I have put some uh, things in my logistics pipes so let's get ourselves a battery box thank you I also want a solar panel thank you very much and uh, for now we are not going to use any wires just because we are a little bit lazy or do we need to use some wires let's think about this anyway while we think about that let's get ourselves a deployer and also do we have a retriever in this system now please tell me tell me I imported the retriever yes I did so there you have it people, one piece of deployer, battery box, solar panel and maybe this guy, this guy and this guy <laughs> and everything else. Okay, let's see, whoa, whoa, whoa. pardon me. Okay, so. <coughs> Deployer 
over here. Retriever over there. Where can I put this guy? I should be able to put it... Right here even. So let's do it like... Can I have enough space? Yes I do. I need a filter. Yes, I need a filter. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I, because I did the retriever, I also did a filter in the system, so that should not be a problem. Yay! Uh, also, let me get from here my. Oh, here it is. Uh, let's see, let's do it like this and get ourselves some buckets just so we have a target slot I want some empty buckets thank you and maybe one or two buckets like that nothing too big put that back get our uh, filter from here So this is going to be moved like this and the deployer here, which means this guy is going to be moved a little bit like that. if I put it in here the buckets will get into it so if I put it in here I'll have to cover it on all sides with uh, covers oh come on and I want to put the solar panel right on top of this guy over here just so we can get some electricity some blue electricity and this should get started on producing okay uh, this guy we only wanted to filter out water buckets and this guy we only wanted to retrieve empty buckets uh, okay now let's do here some come on thank you I have prepared prepared beforehand some glass covers and you'll see why in a moment oh, come on there you go because here we have of course an infinite water source and an infinite water source can be built only with three, uh, two buckets one like that and one like that and there you have it people, infinite water source. Let me just get my buckets back. Thank you. And that should be pretty much enough. We'll just wait for that guy to get some electricity in there. 
Oh, I forgot. So we need to make for these guys over here some sort of um, uh, what you call it upgrades. So let's see what kind of upgrades we have. Transformer upgrade. Actually, we can do that. Okay, so we need two transformer upgrades, please. Let's see if we have enough materials. Uh, so three, one for each, right? And let's see this happening. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit of time, of course. Uh, do I have any in here that might help the process? I don't think so. Not from what I can see. Okay, already two, and we need the third one, please. Yay! So basically, the first transformer upgrade allows these guys to work with an MFE instead of a bad box, and the, and the second one allows them to work with an MFSU. Uh, also, let's see if I can tell this guy I want three of these. Okay, and we'll let that uh, work for now. Do we have enough energy in here, please? Not even close. Well, guys, uh, this is the system as it is now. Okay, so this is the basic. Um, what you call it? Easy to obtain <laughs> EU system um, because this works. Uh, also during the night so that's the point uh, do I, did I put yes I put everything maybe I'll at some point I'll uh, change these um, pipes with uh, regular pipes if the lag gets a little bit too high and the sun is setting and will not have enough energy from that solar panel quickly quickly Come on, I, wa I just want to show this to the people. Dum, 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 and let's hope nothing blows up. Okay, okay, so let's start this baby up. And energy should get in here. Yay! And probably the. Let's see where the buckets go into. The top one. Nice, nice, very nice. Uh, what the hell? Well, that's a bummer. I don't want to get up. I want it to get down. <laughs> oh, Lord. And this is why Direwolf didn't uh, put his system the way he did for... Okay, now I get it. <laughs> Okay, let me just make that change really, really fast and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so these are the last ones. Oh, pardon me. I basically moved everything up a level. And this should be enough. There you go. And our energy is getting in here without any problems. Yay! I also uh, changed the pipes because uh, I was getting a little bit annoyed. And uh, I think this uh, this is it for this episode. Let's get those transformers upgrades in here. Uh, no, the energy storage upgrades because I want these guys. To do some work for me while uh, we wait for episode 9. Um, I am going to use that macerator and get the, the recipe for solar panels in there. And I 
think maybe the, the next epi episode should be our last episode so uh, stay tuned for that <laughs> uh, please rate comment and subscribe and as always don't forget to be awesome guys ciao